Hi, in this video, we will learn how to automate a payslip. We select an employee ID from a drop-down list, and it will automatically generate a payslip. With the click of a button, a PDF copy will be generated and saved into a designated folder. Let's get started. The data contains information on the quantity of bottles of each product sold by sales personnel of the Coca-Cola company during the month of May. There's a link in the description box to download this file if you want to follow along. Here, we have information on the unit price of each product and its commission. The aim is to automate this payslip so that when we select a personnel's ID, all entries will be filled automatically. Some assumptions, personnel receive a bonus of 1% on the total bottles sold at a price of $1 per unit. Next, personnel pay income tax at a rate of 0% on the first $10, then 12% on the amount exceeding $10. Let's create a drop-down list to select the payslip month. Go to the Data tab, then click on Data Validation. Under Allow Select List, and under Source, we select all the months. We then click OK. Let's hide the month to keep the sheet clean. For the personnel ID, we create the same drop-down list. Select List. The source is the personnel ID in the sales sheet. We go to the sales sheet and select all the IDs. The aim is when we select an ID, everything gets filled. Let us use the VLOOKUP to get the name associated with the selected ID. Lookup value is ID value. Table array is the data in the sales sheet. We select the whole table. Column index number is 2. Note that sales personnel names are in the second column of the table. Match type, we want exact match, so choose false. We can copy and paste the formula for the name field and change only the column index number. For example, position column index number in the sales sheet is 3, location is 4, and Coca-Cola is 5. I will quickly fill in all the fields. You can pause and take a look at it.
The total of bottles sold is. Next, we compute all the commissions. Now, we want to print the pay slip. First, select the whole slip. Then go to Page Layout tab. Click on Print Area and set Print Area. Control plus P to show Print Preview. Let's save the file as Macro Enabled Workbook because we are going to write a simple VBA code to automatically generate a PDF copy. Now go to Developer. Click on Visual Basic. If you do not have Developer tab in your ribbon, follow these steps to enable it. We write the simple VBA code. Begin with sub, followed by the name of the macros. We will call it print PDF. Dim is short for dimension, and it's used to declare a variable. File name is the name we are assigning to their PDF. It is a string. And file path is the directory of the folder we will save the PDF file in. Now, we show where the file name is located and the file path.
Don't forget to end the file path with backslash. Now, write at this code for the printing of the payslip. We can now run the code. It executes. The pay slip is downloaded in the folder. Let's try again one more time for a different person. Let's create a button on this page so that we can easily click it to download the PDF, and we won't have to go to the VBA side. Go to Developer tab, then insert, under Form Control Select button. Start drag it to have the button size you like. Assign the button, the macro name print PDF, that's, the code we wrote in the Visual Basic. Click, and the PDF is ready.